everybody, it's Lily of Lady Day Oasis yet again. Um, today I just want to talk to you a little bit about this new gel um, polish that I found. Well, I guess I didn't find it. I went shopping looking for a gel polish to replace the three-step process that I currently use with the fabulous um, Sensational product. I don't get me wrong, I totally love their product. It lasts forever. However, I was looking for something that could be a little bit um, faster and a little more durable. I tried the uh, Sally Hansen's um, Miracle Gel and I just wasn't very impressed. Um, but today I'm going to try this guy. It's the Solo One Step by Ulta. And um, I'm really excited about it. I think that hopefully it's going to work. When I purchased it here in Carbondale, um, the, I asked the clerk, you know, had she gotten reviews or had she heard anything about it? And she said, not really, but it flies off the shelves. So there's a reason for that. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it and let you guys know what I think. Thanks. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, you're going to need some acetone and just a little bit pour a little bit in the cap. We're going to use this for cleanup around our cuticles and the sides of our nails. We want this to look clean and professional. So just a little bit is all you're going to need. As well, you're going to need a um, flathead brush or of some sort. Pretty much any brush will work. We're going to also use that in cleanup. And then you're going to need an LED curing lamp. I use the one by Kiss. I got it from the Walgreens for less than 50 bucks and it's worked out wonderfully. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting my nails. The first thing that you're going to notice is that this is an extremely thick polish, so you don't need a ton. Go ahead and wipe off any excess and go ahead and start to apply to a clean, dry nail. As you can see, that first coat is already covering really well. And it's going on super smooth despite its very clumpy, thick um, consistency. I am really, really loving this polish right now. And it's turning out so beautifully. I'm just really impressed so far. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And you notice I'm not really capping at this point. I'm really just trying to get the polish on. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean it up. I don't want it dripping, so that's why I just tapped it off. And here you're going to take your time. You want a really clean, professional finish. I don't have the steadiest hands, so this part I take my time on because it makes everything look so clean and pretty. I'm going to go ahead and cure. After curing for about a minute, you want to reapply a second coat. My lamp actually um, times a minute for me. Some lamps do longer. It's okay to go longer. After the second coat, I'm really working and capping those nails. I'm going to go ahead and do the cleanup. Again, this part is really important. I recommend everybody do this. It's an extra step, but it makes it totally worth it in the end. And everything looks great. Thank you so much for watching. They, you don't need to um, wipe it off with any, any finishing spray or anything like that. They're done. Finished. I am loving this right now. Thanks so much for watching, guys.